This is Dr. James DeLapp with the University of Colorado School of Dental Medicine with a video snippet on the Toffelmeyer matrix. Armamentarium includes a Toffelmeyer matrix retainer, and for this exercise, the top band of the three shown. This is a photo of the Toffelmeyer matrix. There are two adjustment areas. The most distal adjustment area secures the band to the matrix and is shown between the thumb and the index finger. The second adjustment area, shown between the thumb and index finger, tightens the band around the tooth. The vertical and oblique slots that hold the matrix band appear as black and silver lines at the top of the retainer. When placing the retainer, the open end of the horseshoe should point apically. The orientation shown would be for a mandibular tooth. Take the metal band and fold it in half, forming a circular loop in the middle of the band. The orientation of the band shown is for a mandibular tooth. Note that the band constricts towards the bottom or apical area. The opposite orientation would be for a maxillary tooth. Place the band in the slots shown with the horseshoe retainer pointing down or apically. Notice a large circumference occlusally and the smaller circumference apically. There are three positions the retainer can accommodate. Straight, to the right, and to the left. This is an example of an incorrect setup of the Toffelmeyer matrix for a mandibular tooth. Notice the horseshoe area is pointing down, which is correct, but the band is in upside down. Again, this is the correct orientation of the horseshoe shaped retainer and the matrix band for a mandibular molar. The final step prior to placement is to make the oblong matrix band into a circle so it can be more easily placed. This rounding is done with your mirror handle. The matrix band is placed, tightened, secured with a wooden wedge, burnished up against the adjacent tooth, and inspected to make sure the band seals even in the most apical areas of the tooth preparation. One of the most common errors is not tightening the most posterior adjustment screw that affixes the band to the retainer. This error causes the band to fall off as the second adjustment screw is tightened when securing the band to the tooth. As a final note, the Toffelmeyer matrix is used only for posterior amalgam restorations at the University of Colorado. This is Dr. James DeLapp with a video snippet on Toffelmeyer band placement.